Today I have something interesting to show you. These are Windows Mobile device images. We have Windows Mobile 6 Classic, which is a standard PDA without a phone. Windows Mobile 6 Standard, and the most common um, device here in the United States to support this is a device that has it in the landscape orientation. So that's why I have it as standard landscape. And then we have Windows Mobile 6 Professional, which is essentially classic with a built-in phone. So let's go ahead and fire one of these up. Why don't we go ahead and take a look at the most common device today, which would be Windows Mobile 6 Professional. I'm not going to do Windows Mobile 6 Standard, even though that's also common, because in order for that to work, I have to zoom out. Um, because the buttons on the emulator are the only way to control the device, and that makes things a little more difficult. With this, with Professional, I can go ahead and zoom in. So, I'll show you here. While this is powering up, I'll just zoom out real quick to give you an idea of what this looks like. So that's our device. And it just booted up. So let's zoom in here. Let me just see where I am in terms of the zoom range. And this is our Windows Mobile device. For those of you not familiar with it, this is, would be the Today screen. And the, to, and the Today screen is essentially your starting point. You have your date and time here. You have whether or not the phone is off or on. I have a simula I, The program comes with a cellular emulator. For developers but I don't I don't plan to use that I primarily plan to use this to get a hold of Windows Mobile because my next device is going to be a Windows Mobile device given the fact that I tried a Blackberry and a, and the second I got the font larger the device slowed down to a crawl so I want to get used to Windows Mobile before I actually get the device and I think this is a good way to do it so we have tap here to send owner information you can get your name, company, address, telephone, email, and so forth. We have um, any upcoming message, any incoming messages, tasks, or appointments. Windows Mobile Live Search. This comes um, standard with most devices, though a lot of manufacturers tend to turn that around a little bit. Um, but particularly if you're going to get a Windows Mobile 6 Classic device, and especially with the PacMate. Um, you will get Windows Mobile Live Search as standard. Down here you can lock or unlock your device. And then we have soft keys. These will go um, for the... Excuse me. Since this is a Windows Mobile professional device and has the phone on board, um, it's only natural that you'd want to go to your phone and your contacts. So let's click phone. Let's tap on phone actually. So let's tap phone. Here's your dial pad. And it says here no matches for this number. What it's gone in and done is that it's actually searching through the contact list to try and find um, matches. And there's nothing in the contact list, so I can't do anything. And then when you're ready to go ahead and make a call, you just tap talk. And there are also some options here. A wireless radio must be attached to use the phone, and I do not plan to... Uh, to do that. So we've got calls and contacts, all calls or speed dials. We can hide the keypad or we can show it. And if we hide the keypad, you can bring up a full QWERTY keyboard. And you also have a sort of a one, two, three with symbols arrangement. You can also uh, do letter recognizer, block recognizer, transcriber, in which I can um, write here on the screen, and it, set, and it gives you basically a little tutorial for that. It's fine. So the arrow is essentially my stylus. So if I go ahead and write in a T here, no matches for 555121. Then you notice here we have the T. It recognized the T and picked it up. So that's basically the input methods. You have a start menu. This is exactly the same 
as your start menu on the desktop. The Today screen basically brings you back to the home page, which is called the Today screen. You've got Office Mobile, which is Excel, PowerPoint, and Word. If you were to go into Word, for instance, you now have a blank document with which you can begin typing. Now, because I have a keyboard, um, I'm going to cheat. And I'm going to misspell test. And we have a spell checker, I think, in here somewhere. Here it is. Tools, spelling. And you can just tap test. The spelling check is complete. And then if you have, you have this program open, you can go to the start menu, tap today, and you are back on the today screen. Now, let's go back to, um, to Office Mobile, back to Word Mobile, and let's close this out. And we have a, um, this is basically, we've created a document, so it's sitting here in our uh, dot in a list. So next time we open up Word, we'll see this list. Now, we've closed the program, right? Wrong. To close the program, you have to go, you have to tap Start, you have to tap Settings, you have to tap System, you have to tap um, uh, Memory, then you have to tap down here to the Running Programs app, uh, and then you have to say Stop All Apps. That's the long way around. A lot of third-party manufacturers are throwing things in to make things a little bit easier. But this is a full Windows mobile device. And again, like I said, I think the main market is for developers, but anybody can download it. Um, if you want to see what Windows mobile is like before you actually buy a device, I'd say this is a perfect way to get started. Um, thank you for watching. Comments are more than certainly welcome. And have a nice day.